last week, Tina ate worms, styrofoam peanuts, and tainted ham without puking. This week, will she eat a bowl of phlegm? I can't. I can't do it. To find out, stay tuned to the show America Can't Help But Watch. You're gonna puke. Can you believe I was actually asked to direct an episode of this crap? What, it's just a bunch of strangers trying to make each other puke? No, it's a bunch of strangers in a decked-out beach house trying to make each other puke for money. Right. You know, who cares if I need the work? I refuse to contribute to the dumbing down of America. Hey, wait, you didn't see the part where she gags and her eyes tear up. You can't do this, Nora. You know, we're always looking for adjunct professors down at the film school. I don't know, Dad. I always sort of thought I'd keep teaching in my back pocket until I reached the end of my career. Well, what do you know? We're there. Okay, listen, I'm going to be out of town for a while. But I'll pass your resume along to Dean Webb. I have to warn you, though, there's really not much money. That's okay, Dad. It wouldn't be about the money. It would be a chance to pass on what I've learned to a new generation of filmmakers, inspire young minds, make a difference. Thanks. And you hold on to that as long as you can. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Which side do you guys like better for Stevens Awards Center? The one that says, I'm professional, or the one that says, I love my wife because she bought it for me? <laughs> oh, Stephen. Congratulations. I didn't know you were nominated for an award. You were nominated for a really prestigious architecture award, and you didn't tell them. Why didn't you tell them? Well, it's no big deal. Oh, my God. What is that coming out of her hand? <laughs> That's why I didn't tell them. Ready to dip your toes in the red tape infested waters of academia. Now, what do you think you'd find most appealing about this job? Well, I think it would be inspiring to mentor the next. Eh. <laughs> the correct answer? The frozen yogurt at the co op? You'll not find a tastier sprinkle. Oh, yeah. I've, my dad never mentioned it. Oh, your dad. <laughs> he certainly has the gift of the gas. Yep, yep. We can listen to his stories for days. And often do. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's definitely had a lot to say about you. This is quite a letter. Really? What does he say? Well, he says you're brilliant and dedicated. You won the science fair in the seventh grade. Oh, um... Yeah, he helped me build a crystal radio, and he cannot let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Webb, the students are chaining your moped to the dining hall again. Oh, well. I'll be back in a moment. Somehow, today's youth don't understand that the right to snack in the library is not a cause for civil disobedience. Wow, when I was a student, we'd chain ourselves to buildings to protest apartheid. Ah, yes, apartheid. Those were the days. <laughs> Don't be thrown by Nora? Yep, that's what Dad wrote in his letter. Don't be thrown by Nora. I mean, what does that even mean? <laughs> I mean, because when I think about being thrown, you know, I think about that guy we saw on the Santa Monica Pier with half a face. You know, now that would throw me. I I'm, I'm asking you, do I have half a face? No. Is it my qualifications? Am I so underqualified that the mere audacity of me applying for a job would physically lift someone and throw them across the room? No. Is it my personality? Am I so caustic and mean that Dad feels people need to be warned? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Oh, my God think there's something wrong with me? No, we think that you're fascinating and complicated. <laughs> and that you're mean and you make people cry. <laughs> okay, so it's not just Dad, it's you guys too? Well, you know, I may have on occasion prepared people before sending you on a blind date or summer job interview at Kendall's and things really just, you know, to help along that first impression. <laughs> You've warned people about me? In a good way. We're an advanced team. It's like we're your personal snowplow. First we clear, then we salt, and then you can drive through safely. <laughs> okay, I mean, obviously I am self-aware enough to realize that in certain situations, when it is warranted, I can be a little harsh-ish. You know, it's, it's 
it's not like when somebody meets me for the first time, they'd be terrified. Of course not. Thank you. But they'd have to get to know you first. <laughs> Okay, remember, it's not about winning or losing. It's about not crying when we lose. I'm sorry, I was thinking about rushing the stage. What'd you say? Jesper, guess who I just saw in the ladies' room? Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> Your mom, it's an architecture awards. I really don't think you saw Debbie Reynolds. Well, whose autograph is this? <laughs> and now for the winner of the 2001 Innovation Award. Isn't that what's-his-name from the Rockford Files? James Garner? Yeah, Ma, that's James Garner. The nominees are Goth and Dolans for the Hollywood Boulevard Blue Line Station. The Urban Group for the Berman Pavilion. And Keats and Riley for the Redondo Municipal Sports Complex. And the winner is... Come on, Rockford, speed it up. <laughs> Keats and Riley from yeah! the Redondo yeah! Municipal yeah! Sports Complex. Yeah! Wow. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, Los Angeles! <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to say that ever since my first Zeppelin concert. <laughs> Oh, my God. I, I, I can't believe this. I never won anything before. Hello, you. <laughs> wow, I guess, guess we know who you'll be going home with tonight. Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, this is great. Okay, I want to thank the commission and, uh, and everyone who helped to make my dream a reality. <laughs> I won! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot. Beth, thank you, honey. You picked the right tie. I love you. <laughs> disturbing that my father and sisters feel the need to warn people about me when the truth is I'm a very nice person, don't you think? Yes, of course, Nora. You're a very nice person. Yeah, I mean, if they hate it so much, then why am I the first person best calls to drag down to Nordstrom's to get her a full refund on a sweater she wore once and got foundation all over? Am I right? Right. <laughs> yes, Nora, you are a very nice person. Okay, thank you. And as a reality check, I asked Ellie and he did confirm that I am a ray of sunshine. Right. <laughs> Which is why it's very important to me that people know in advance that deep Deep, deep down, you are a very nice person. <laughs> oh, my God. You're one of them, aren't you? Okay, look. On your first day of school, I did send a note to the teacher. But that was only because that hamster story had gotten all around. All right, you know what? That was not my fault. That hamster was attracted to fire. It was like a freaking moth. I know. I know. You're right. Oh, baby, do you mind if we cut it short? I really got to dash back to the yoga studio. I'm giving a special class to a few of the Lakers today. They have really bad backs, but incredible fronts. Okay, <laughs> see you later. Oh, great, thanks. Uh, there you go. Team Webb? Hey. Hi. Sarah, oh, hello. Hi. 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 I, uh, I, I see you're eating lunch. I certainly don't want to bother you. I just, uh, I just, I wanted to say hi. 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 <laughs> well, enjoy your lunch. You know, if you have any questions regarding my resume or my reputation, all you need to do is ask. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. I read that note on your desk, and what my dad wrote about don't be thrown by Nora, it's just a stupid family thing. So, I just wanted to clear that up for my own peace of mind. You read a private note on my desk, where I keep things that are private? <laughs> okay, let's just put that aside for the moment. You know, what really matters here is that I I'm not a person who throws people. I mean, yes, there may have been one or two times in my past where I've done things that may have been perceived as, you know, I don't know, threatening. But really, I mean, who, who in the world hasn't, you know? 
excuse me, could I get this to go? You're, you're not leaving because of me, are you? I mean, we're just what? having a conversation. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> excuse me, uh, forget the food. I'll just take the check. Okay, whoa, where are you going? I mean, what, are you running with me like I'm some kind of monster or something? Look at me. Can't you see I'm a ray of sunshine? I can see that. Me and, and, and all of these, uh, witnesses. Now, wait a minute, you know what? We are not finished. Oh. And, uh, give my regards to your parents. Thanks for running into you. Yeah, no, it's great. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Hey. Guess what? The L.A. Times wants to interview us at lunch today. Is that all right? Why, ask me. I'm sure you'll do all the talking. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you're still bent out of shape about last night. I, you know, I apologize. Besides, everybody knows it was both of us that won that award. Really? Yeah. Because all I remember was you saying, I. I'm so honored. I've never won anything before. I'd like to thank Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Well, I stood up there behind you like your idiot man, sir. Well, I didn't mean I. I meant... I. <laughs> Besides, you know, I'm sure that nobody even noticed. My mom noticed. Nothing could cheer her up. Not even a picture with Angela Lansbury. <laughs> hey, look, I already apologized. Okay, you know that it was a mistake. Was it? Of course it was. Well, it's just a pattern I'm seeing. Now, your name is first on the door. You have to approve all the expenditures. You have to make the presentations to the clients, which, by the way, are about as boring as your speech last night. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, you know what? I'm the one who got you off your ass and said, let's start our own firm. I'm the one who got all the clients to come with us, and I'm the one who mortgaged my house to pay for this office space. Oh, so you do feel like it was you who deserved that award. Well, that's funny, considering the ideas that won us the award were mostly mine. <laughs> all right, that's just, you know what? Forget it. I'm not even going to do this with you, Jake. I already apologize. What more do you want? A free punch. <laughs> you you want to hit me? <laughs> Hitting me would make you feel better? Yes. And you can't hit me back. <laughs> you know, see, this, is, this is so childish. I get to pick the arm. Fine, fine. Right arm. Fine. No knuckle. I'd like to thank Bess for picking out my tie. Okay, knuckle. All right, you ready? On the count of three. One. Two. Hello, Dad. Whoa. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. Did I throw you? Because I do that to people sometimes. I've read. Wait a minute, you... You read my note? You read another person's private note? Okay, why is everyone so fixated on that? It makes me sound like a crazy person. <laughs> Look, Dad, you should just know that Dean Webb and I had a friendly conversation today, after which his jacket was ripped by me <laughs> while trying to escape from me. <laughs> See, that's the very thing we've been trying to avoid. Uh-huh. Yeah, but when you write, don't be thrown by Nora, it kind of becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. Uh, don't worry, kid. I, I think I can fix it. You know what, Dad? I, I think you've done enough fixing for one day. And by the way, if you think you can make this up to me by your old trick of sending me a cookie cake to apologize, I will be home all day tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, I'm off to play basketball. Wait, with Jake? No, no, with the Lakers. They need a short little Jewish guy to round out the roster. <laughs> so you and Jake worked out all your issues? I showed you the bruise, right? <laughs> hey, Steven. Hey, bud. Bess. Hey. I'm like 30 seconds away. Take your time, buddy. Okay, this tension is killing me. All right, you two have got to talk this out. You know, on Oprah, Dr. Phil says you got to communicate. Yes. 
And tell it like it is. All right, guys. Come on. Sit knee to knee. The best. I know you mean Don't well. Don't touch but... my knee, man. No. <laughs> guys, this is about creating a safe environment where you can express yourself from the I feel place. For example, Stephen, um, he might say something like, Jake, I feel unappreciated when you don't acknowledge the work that I do. Right? Jake, you want to tell Stephen how you feel? Yes, Bess, I do. Okay. Stephen, I feel like your wife's really annoying. <laughs> Jake, I feel like I agree. All right. <clears throat> okay, little misdirected anger, guys. Let's get real. Okay. Jake, you could say something to Stephen along the lines of, uh, Stephen, I felt hurt when you didn't thank me because it dredged up all the pain that little Jasper felt when he tried to do his best and it still wasn't enough. <laughs> and then Stephen, you could say something like, oh, believe me, when I tell you, you are enough. <laughs> Do you feel better? <laughs> That's good, huh? Spencer, I am so glad you could join us for brunch. Well, you are my squash partner, and at your side, I did sustain a brutal beating. <laughs> the least you owe me is a little sustenance. <laughs> Here, you just take all you like, okay? Because Sunday mornings is usually us just all alone here. Yep, we have all this food just for the three of us. <laughs> hey! Oh! What a surprise, Spencer. Hi. This is my daughter, Bess. Hey. Oh, nice to meet you. You too. Hey, so where's this guy we're supposed to suck up to? Uh, he couldn't make it, but uh, Dean Webb is here. <laughs> Spencer, this is my other daughter, Annie. Hello. You know, George, maybe I should leave. I mean, this seems like a day you might like to spend with your daughters, who appear to be arriving with alarming frequency. Sorry, I'm late. I accidentally slipped off a cop. Oh, you're right here, too. It's a Sunday miracle. <laughs> Dean Webb. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, look at you two, huh? Why don't you, uh, share a blintz? Nora, Nora, sit down right here. Sit down right here next to Dean Webb. Dean Webb, you're a very smart man. And you know that sometimes first impressions can be misleading, right? But we just all think that Nora would make a wonderful teacher. That's true. You know, she taught my son Charlie his first word. You know, it's, it doesn't really matter what the word was, but it was very advanced for his age. <laughs> And when she was filming in Africa, she was so beloved that the gorillas fought over who got to groom her. No other way to say it. She's a gem. And she's a born leader. Do you know that she started the Star Wars fan club in junior high? I'm going to get you the yearbook. And the Crystal Radio. Crystal you know what? Really? You know what? I, I, don't, I don't need the snow plowed or the brush cleared or whatever it is you feel you need to do to compensate for this personality flaw you all seem to think I have. You know, here's a, a news flash. We all have flaws. There's plenty I could warn Dave Webb about all of you two. I don't think that'll be necessary. <laughs> Laura, you need the plow. Get behind the plow. <laughs> Why, what's the matter, Annie? Think it'd be painful to hear what little quirks aren't so cute in your personality? No, I can take it. I'll even tell you myself. Dean Webb, I'm not perfect. My tragic flaw, I care too much. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're going to say, right? Actually, I was going for Clueless, but you pretty much just made my point. <laughs> Yowza! You think that's funny, Beth? Yeah. Dean Webb, I should warn you, my sister Beth here is anal retentive and stuck up. Stuck up? I'm not stuck up. I'm insecure and pretty, so people think I'm stuck up. <laughs> okay, and I'm the Clueless one? Well, what does that supposed really mean? Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 w
Plus, did I read correctly that it's just Tuesdays and Thursdays? Okay, Nora. Clearly, by this point, despite all efforts to the contrary, I have been thrown. So, here's what we'll do. If you allow me to leave immediately, I'll recuse myself from the hiring process and pass your resume on to one of my colleagues along with a note. Ah, strike that. Just show up, have an interview, whatever happens, happens. Thank you. And you're welcome to stay for brunch. Well, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Is that the quickest way to buy a car? <laughs> Shall we begin? 